Hi everyone and welcome. Today let's make hand pies with potato and leek filling. They're tasty, filling, and can be eaten as a meal or as a snack on the go. I like this vegetarian version of these pies, but you can also add some fried bacon to the filling. We have here a peeled and a washed potato and a piece of leek. We need to boil the potato, therefore let's cut it into smaller pieces and put in a small pot. The size of the potato pieces does not matter. The smaller they are, the quicker they will be ready. Let's put the pot on the stove. Add a bit of water to partially cover the potatoes. Add about half a teaspoon of salt and put the potatoes to boil. I'll put the lid on as well. While the potato is cooking, let's cut the leek in thin slices. It is also fine to use the green leaves of the leek. Each leaf just needs to be washed separately to make sure there is no soil on them. Now we will need to fry the leek. Before that, let's check the potato to see if it's ready. The potato is soft. Let's remove the pot from the stove, drain the potato and put it in a bowl. I will mash the potato with a fork and leave it to cool while cooking the leek. Let's put some butter in a frying pan and heat the pan. Put the leek in the pan. Cover with a lid and let the leek cook for a few minutes on medium heat till it softens. I will stir the leek to make sure it does not burn and let it cook a bit more. Now let's add the cream in the pan and add a bit of water. I'm adding about 150 milliliters so that I have some liquid to stew the leek a bit and have sauce. Let's also add salt, pepper, curry powder, and a generous teaspoon of mustard. Mix everything, put the lid on the pan and let everything cook, stirring once in a while till the leek is soft and the sauce has thickened and reduced, as we do not want a lot of liquid in the filling. I will taste the leek and sauce to see if I need to add more spices. Tastes good, smells nice and looks ready. Let's remove the pan from the stove and add the leek to the potato. I will mix everything well and let the filling cool, as we do not want to put it hot on the puff pastry. In the meanwhile, let's set the oven to heat to 180 degrees Celsius or 400 degrees Fahrenheit and take the puff pastry out of the fridge so that it softens at room temperature. Let's break an egg in a glass and beat it with a fork a little. We will use the egg for brushing the pies. I will unroll the puff pastry sheet now and cut it into four squares, which will make four big hand pies. You can cut the puff pastry into pieces depending on how big the puff pastry sheet you have and how big or small pies you want to make. Smaller ones are easier to handle, for example when you need to put them on the baking tray or move when they're ready. And let's put the filling on each piece of the dough. I will fold the pies as triangles, therefore I'm putting the filling in the middle, more towards one side, so that I can fold the dough over it. Mm -hmm. 
Now I will brush the dough around the sides of each piece with a bit of egg. This can be also skipped if the dough is soft and sticks well together. It is helpful if the dough is somewhat dry. And fold the further end of the dough over the filling to shape a triangle. The dough I have is very thin and soft, so it stretches very easily. I push the filling a little to flatten it and spread more to the sides of the pie. And using a fork, let's push around the sides of the pie to make sure they stick together and will not open while baking. All the pies have been shaped. Let's arrange them on the baking tray. I have the baking tray covered with a silicone baking mat. If you use parchment paper, dust it with a bit of flour. Let's brush the pies gently with the egg and punch with a fork to make a few holes in the top of the pie so that it does not break while puffing up. And I'll put the pies in the oven to bake for about 20 minutes till they have puffed up and look golden brown. It's time to remove the pies from the oven and let them cool for a few minutes before removing from the tray and enjoying. Thank you for joining me today and see you next week. Bye!